Hey guys, me Ho Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Well, it's Monday night right now, and I'm starting this vlog because we think we're going out tomorrow with uh, Baby Page. Sorry, Super Sorrel Junior, as you guys love calling him. Super Sorrel Junior, uh, my mum and my brother, uh, Jig Docs. We're going to be going to um, maybe a little theme park or possibly shopping. We haven't decided yet. Depends on the weather. If the weather's crap, we've mentioned going to Sheffield. So. You know me, guys. Any excuse to go shopping. And uh, either way, it's going to be a fun vlog today, so uh, keep watching. Um, I've got a lot of stuff still to review. The pile's getting big again. Oh, my poor head. My pile. I can't record fast enough to keep up. And of course, Friday's right around the corner. And uh, this weekend, guys, I forgot to mention, Saturday... Make sure you head over to Sheffield Arena and come see us because it's the Sheffield Film and Comic Con. So make sure you come out to Sheffield Arena to see us. And then on Sunday, Mrs. Super Sorrel and uh, my brother Jig Dogs will be over at York Con. So uh, we've got two different events you can see us at this weekend, Sheffield and York. So I hope to see you guys at one of these cons as well. So Sheffield Saturday, York on Sunday. Hope to see you there. Okay, guys, let's get on with today's vlog. So guys, it seems like we've got some more leaks upon us. See, these are the new box designs for the new Elite series. Going back to um, how they were doing the Elite series uh, for the First Order Riot Trooper and stuff with the new design with the Disney logo in the top corners and stuff. But the colour schemes are very different. It seems to be like a bluey grey background and the logo itself is like a silvery browny red. It's really weird, like bronzing sort of colour design but I like it and then of course we've got the red uh, Petronian guard I think that's called um, and I think it's one of Snoke's guards a bit like the Emperor's guards and when I saw that figure a while back I said to you guys that's definitely a leak figure with all them holes in the back of it so I think it is this one that leaked prior that we saw outside of the box and then this is a newer one as well this is called the First Order Judical Trooper so that's pretty different and pretty cool so these are hopefully will both be available on Force Friday, guys. But I am already excited for September 1st, guys, and I hope you guys are too. Hey, guys, it seems the Force Friday 2 checklist has leaked on the internet. Now, if you want to see this up close and properly, I have posted this actually on my uh, Twitter and on my Facebook. I know he's going to struggle to read that. So over here, these are the basic figures, it seems. The 5-inch products with the Force Link interactive system that you may have seen previously launch. And there is a little stars everywhere that says may not be available September 1st. Meaning that some of these are Wave 2 as well. In the Deluxe 2 packs this time, we're getting Rey Jedi Training and the Elite Petronian Guard. Han Solo and Boba Fett, I want that one. And Darth Maul and Qui-Gon Jinn, if we get an update on those, I would like that one. Again, that one's a star and it says may not be available first, you know, on, on September 1st. Deluxe figure sets, we're getting Raftar and Balatik, uh, Probe Droid and Darth Vader, and the Wampa and Luke Skywalker for Hoth. I want that one. Again, that may not be available first thing, though. <laughs> Vehicles, we've got the Resistance A-Wing with Resistance Pilot Tally. Um, Canto Bite Police Speeder with Police Officer. Resistance Ski Speeder and Captain Poe Dameron. Kylo Ren's TIE Silencer and Kylo Ren TIE Pilot. Miscellaneous Force Link Starter Set with Kylo Ren and the BB-8 Mega Star Destroyer with Supreme Leader Snoke and Elite Guard. Black Series Products, guys, here we are. So, Wave 1 includes Harrison Duller, Rey in Jedi Training, Luke Skywalker the Jedi Master, Grand Admiral Thrawn, Kylo Ren, and then a reissue of Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Snowtrooper, and the AT-AT -AT Driver. Poe Dameron, Finn, General Leia, Chewbacca, and the Elite Petronian Guard. Centerpiece assortment set forty nine ninety nine is Luke Hoff and Darth Vader from uh, I think that says Tanty Four. Someone's going to correct me in the comments and hate hate me for not knowing what that is. Uh, exclusive six inch scale figures over here. We're showing Tango Black ta uh, Target, Clone Commander Cody's at Gr uh, Clone Commander Gree, sorry at Toys R Us. Supreme Leader Snoke with Throne is only at GameStop, and Elite Guards 4-pack also GameStop. Hopefully GameStop Island will stock those so us in the UK can get those bad boys as well. That seems the only way of getting Snoke, guys. Sad, uh, sad but true. 
Six inch scale vehicles, we're getting race speeder from Jakku and also the X34 land speeder with Luke. So that's the uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive one, guys. Role playing, we're getting the Captain Poe Dameron Black Leader helmet and Ray Jedi Training Force Effect lightsaber. Titanium series helmets is the Victor Guard Tango Red. So this is the Hasbro checklist, guys. This isn't everything. Disney Store will also have their own stuff going on. And uh, so stay tuned. I don't think Disney tend to release theirs, though. Uh, so Elite Series, we've no a few leaks, but nothing crazy. And we're just waiting to uh, see what other things pop up. But guys, make sure you check out this video. And uh, please give it a thumbs up, because I'm giving you guys lots of information here. I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek. So guys, it's Wednesday morning, and it's raining outside. So we're not going to the uh, the kids theme park as we thought we were going to, but we are going to go toy hunting. So me and Super Sorrel Jr. and my mum are going to go uh, shopping around Meadowhall Shopping Centre in Sheffield today. So stick with us, we've got some awesome stuff coming up today. Uh, we're going to be going all around there, we're going to grab some food, we're going to have a good day. So stick with the vlog guys, and if any more developments on Last Jedi, any more leaks come out about Force Friday, I'll be sure to let you know. <coughs> so I like doing these little like vloggy videos, gives me a chance just to speak openly and uh, let you guys know where I'm at. At the moment, um, I've been through a bit of a purge on the channel, I'm going to be moving away from mystery boxes for a little while until they get better, because the mystery boxes in the UK aren't exactly the cracking best, and they don't fit my channel's sort of repertoire anymore. So I'm going to be moving away from them for a little while. Nerd Block I think has gone bankrupt because <laughs> they've stopped talking. <laughs> Uh, Zbox and my Geekbox, just, they don't communicate, they just send crates and they don't ever communicate with you, so I don't think I'm bothered with that. And then we'll just see where we land. Um, I can't get any, like, people keep asking me about Smuggler's Bounty, the Star Wars crate and stuff like that. You can't really get those easily in the UK. Uh, they have to be imported and it costs an absolute fortune, so I'm probably not going to be doing those guys, just to set your expectations. But we've got so much coming up anyway with Force Friday, the new Star Wars movie, Justice League, Thor Ragnarok. There's so much coming out that I'm not going to be able to keep up as it is. So I'm going to be moving away from the mystery boxes for a little while until I get back 100% sorted and get this review pile down because I can't live in this room anymore. Look, I've got comic books stacked up here because I can't get them over there where they belong. <sighs> YouTuber's life, eh? So guys, we're going to med hall. Let's do this. Look what you found, PG. What are you doing, Beijing? You're using chopsticks. Show me, show grandma. Show, show grandma. Show grandma. Oh, look. Wow. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh. Dunbury. Curry. Wait, wait. Hey, guys, me, your host, Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. Some stuff. <laughs> Big bag stuff. <laughs> 
People keep saying I need to have t-shirts made that just go look what I've got, big bag of stuff. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, she got indigestion really hard. Oh. Right. Oh, as you saw, we had a great day out. I've just done that. I don't even point at the screen. You guys are there. That's my PC. <laughs> you guys have just seen the vlog of us going to Sheffield. We had a bit of fun. We had some dinner. We had some laughs. I picked up some stuff. And I want to share with you. So, HMV. Some Blu-ray pickups. Some films are finally out that I want to watch again. So they had a two for 25 offer on. And that included Kong Skull Island on Blu-ray. Which is a double pack feature, by the way. As it also includes... Whoop! Not sure if you can see that. Godzilla. So that's not a bad deal. And that I also got to go with the offer. Got the new Ghost in the Shell on Blu-ray. And this is the um, exclusive bonus disc for only a HMV. So a lot of people hate on that on the Ghost in the Shell live action. I don't mind it. I thought it was pretty good. I liked Scarlett Johansson as the robot. I pretty liked that. So I'm going to give those two another will. Those two are two. Two of my favourite films, I think, so far, other than Spider-Man and, you know, the Marvel stuff, but these two are pretty good films this year. So two for 25, but technically I got three for 25 because it's got Godzilla in there, which I haven't seen yet. And apparently Kong is, like, in the same universe. Find out what happens with that in a few years. And then for 9 99 I got the entire series of Blade. Just because I've got the Blade action figure to review, for, it's the Netflix Blade, or... I think it's this version of Blade that's meant, that's meant to be, because it's like a bald-headed Blade, um, rather than the Wesley Snipes looking one, and it's got the same tattoos and things. So I think that actual action figure is based on this version of Blade. I couldn't get this on Blu-ray, they don't, they don't seem to have it on Blu-ray. Um, but this is the unrated 2 graphic for TV version. I like Blade, I haven't seen Blade in a lot of years. The films got a bit campy, especially with Triple H in the third one from wrestling. <sighs> and the dogs with the... no, weird. Um, then we stopped by Lego Store, guys, as you saw in the video. Uh, didn't get anything new, but I did find an offer that I want to share with you. Um, if you spend £25 or more between the 10th and the 30th of August this month, you will get a free caveman set. I know it's only two figures, it's very similar to the Easter offer. It's two minifigures that are otherwise unavailable. So I'll probably pop back, I can easily spend that. I might get a new Star Wars set. Um, awesome cars for Baby Page. Sure, between the three of us we can spend 25 quid in there. And uh, just to get that, because it's an exclusive and you can't get that any other time. So yeah, big ass uh, thing there to read about all the summer releases. I own nearly all of them. <laughs> Love Lego. Then guys, finally, I went to my favourite little shop. Avalon, and that's in the, um, I forgot, I've got the lanes area they call it, which is uh, the area near the food court, they've got some shops running along the back, and there's a shop there, it's a collector's shop, and it's called Avalon, and they had the Predator Clan Leader in the big box design, the ultimate Predator Clan Leader, it comes with the removal mask and things like that. The deluxe Predator Clan leader. Let's open it up. Yeah. Badass. The Clan leader Predator, Supreme Leader of the Yautja Prime, also known as the Grand Elder. Clan leader has ruled for centuries and is proven to be the wisest and strongest leader amongst all the elders. His superior hunting record, fighting skill, and great cunning are legendary, earning him the highest position in the Yatuja society. Assassination attempts and tribal uprisings are commonplace for clan leader, but he has proven to be an invulnerable force, earning the respect of his people and striking fear into those who oppose him. So that is a pretty awesome figure as well. I'm really excited to review that one. Um, the only other one that I've never been able to find in the wild, guys, which I really want, is the Stalker Predator. Can't seem to find him anywhere. I love the Alien and Predator figures, guys. I'm getting really into NECA now, especially now I know that since I found that I've got my Jason and my Freddy, they're releasing a Chucky. I want to try and get all the horror icons in, in NECA. But as well, Alien and Predator, man. It's one of my favourite franchises of all time. The Alien vs. Predator movies suck so far, but the original uh, video games were pretty cool. And um, 
I like some of the some of the um, comic books as well. Haley vs Predator, the comics were pretty good. Some of the graphic novels are pretty good. Some of the books as well have been pretty good over the years. And I really want to see. I want to really want to start a huge collection of Alien vs Predator. So I'm gonna be starting to get some more Predators and Aliens. So I hope you're uh, interested in NECA products, guys. I can't find anywhere to put it. Where can I put it? Just got to stand there. Damn. So yeah guys, those were my choices for today. Oh, that, that cost me $32.99 by the way. Which looking on eBay is not bad. Everyone's charging between $29 and $34. But postage on top is about... Everyone's charging like 5 or 6 quid postage. Some some people charge £12 postage. What the hell? <laughs> so uh, I don't think I've got a bad deal there. A bad price. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Which item that I got today was your favourite one? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to be putting up a poll today. Um, tomorrow you'll be seeing the Daredevil review. Oh, in fact, no, because there'll be a, there'll be a poll in the Daredevil review. Tomorrow's Daredevil from the Netflix wave. Um, <clears throat> and then at the weekend, obviously, you know I'm at conventions all weekend. So, the videos will be going up about 5, 6 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday will be convention hall vlog footage stuff that I normally do for conventions. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrow. Please smash the subscribe button. It would really support me, really help me out, and help me keep making this channel awesome. Thank you very much for watching, guys. 7K giveaway. It's not going to be long. We're already on 600 and something. We're nearly there already. 7K big giveaway coming, so make sure you subscribe. Got to be in it to win it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye.